beautiful people, my beautiful patriots. I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy. Let's crank this. Trump the Don, <laughs> back at it again. This time in a country rap song. Shout out high res. God bless the USA. Stop sending billions to Ukraine. Put America first for a change. When they fail, I'm the one that they blame. I only rap for president cause I had one thing on my mind. To make the country better than it's ever been, but you got Biden's lies. <laughs> If you love the country, then we're on the same side I got that for America, I got American pride <laughs> They tried to kick me out the White House, next year that's my house Fafo, around and find out, <laughs> Trump 2024, all the communists they will cry now No more fake news selling lies now, CNN stands for the Clinton News Network I'm the only president to leave with a lower net worth Biden took office, oh boy, did it get worse I guess that means that I was better than my successor I only rap for president cause I had one thing on my mind To make the country better than it's ever been But you got Biden's lies Woo! Y'all ready for today's video, y'all? We got one more, hold on, y'all We got one more One more, y'all We got one more Let me see if I can get back to it Hold on. Let me see if I can dare it go right there. I'm a part that a holler neath the mountain moonlight. We stand for the flag if you don't like it. Hell, we don't care. Hell, there you mm. go. Damn right, America. America. Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. You gonna, you gonna respect this. Respect us. Respect it. Don't mess with don't us. Don't mess with us. America. America. You <laughs> the greatest in the country. country. Greatest country ever lived. Damn right. Yeah. And right. We don't take nothing off nobody. We'll take shit. We'll take shit. Don't take shit. Don't take shit. Hey, don't come on. Take. Come on. Don't take shit. No, no. hey, hey. We're good. Man, my. <laughs> Did I see corrupt Fanny on my freaking pet on my thing? Shoot. But, oh, man. Uh, we got a, a request sent in, you guys. And shout out to Lisa that sent this over. So, we're going to check it out. Again, y'all. These are This is. We, I know y'all been enjoying the show. Y'all been enjoying the so-called podcast. That's what we call it now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, these are also reactions as well. So be friendly to people in the comments. I don't want you guys. Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Be friendly. Be respectful. I love you guys, man. And I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. Spread that love. You never know what somebody's going through, you guys. Spread that love. And hey, this year is election year. Again, we've been covering... This for quite a while. We've been seeing all the, the nonsense that's been going on, all the cases, the corruptness. I mean, it's it's here. So, but let's check this out. Uh, shout out to Lisa for sending this over. Another video from Red Eagle. Um, and that'll be a link in the description box down below if y'all want to go check it out for yourself. But uh, the 2024 election map favors an easy Trump win. And y'all know we love to hear Trump win. So, let's check it out, y'all. Politics. Make sure you guys like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So hey. Donald Trump still still leads by several percentage points against Joe Biden. We are less than seven and a half months away from the 2024 election. And, and hey, we sending out them hats every single day until it's time. We are sending out hats. Don't be afraid to email me. We've already sent tons out these past two weeks. Uh, well, week and a half, close to two weeks. So, again, we've been blessing a lot of people, a lot of families, a lot of people that are on disability. We've blessed, you know, veterans. So, please do not be afraid to reach out to me. Um, email me. I love you guys, man. And we sent, I sent out tons of emails last night to you guys uh, of who orders were sent out. Your orders are on the way. And I responded back to my emails. So, it was so much love last night. We even cried last night, you guys. So, Check your emails, check your uh, mailboxes, your, your P.O. boxes, your, your front of your uh, doorstep, because I see that a lot of uh, our hats are still being are out for delivery as we speak of right now. So 
And again, send me pictures what you guys wearing it because I know um, we've had tons of people sending me pictures that we showed in previous videos and I want to show more of you guys. So please do not be afraid to send me a picture. You know what I'm saying? We don't care what you look like. On this channel, everybody is loved and accepted. We don't care what your skin color is, what your age is, where you're from. If you got bald, if you're bald, you got no hair, if you got long hair, if you're short, tall, we don't care, man. Everybody is loved and accepted on this channel. I love you guys, man. And please spread that love. You know what I'm saying? No matter which way this thing go, at the end of the day, man, we live in a very fast time travel. So please spread that love to one another, you guys. And please be respectful in the comments. Things have gotten a hell of a lot better for Trump over the past seven months than they were before that when he was already in a decent position. He was already seen as the favorite, and he's actually expanded his lead as we've gotten closer to the election. Biden is panicking, and rightfully so. He has nothing going well for him. And on top of that, he has not led a single poll in any swing state since January. And there have been dozens of polls. I'm talking about North Carolina, Georgia, uh, you have Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Nevada. He's led, I think, two polls this entire year. Two polls going back to like November, early November. That's all he's really led. And the guy's in a lot of trouble. He's allegedly behind the scenes throwing a temper tantrum when people are talking about his uh, poor margins in Georgia and other places, and it's because he has nothing to run on. And people know that. They're banking on the American people being dumb, buying the nonsense about all of these indictments and all of these Trump scandals that they're manufacturing out of thin air to help them. And is it exactly going to work? Well, it doesn't really matter what the political climate is so long as you're able to get to 270 electoral votes to win. That's what it comes down to. Mm. And we're going to be filling out in this video, not a prediction map, but what I believe to be the true battleground map as of right now, as of today, we're going to be filling it out. But it's important to understand, you have to understand how the battleground maps have changed since Trump came on the scene because yeah. Republicans had to run the table and then some back then in order to even just have a shot. You would have to go out there and you'd have to win Georgia, Florida, Ohio, and Iowa. Those were swing states. And then you'd still need Arizona. You'd still need Nevada. Then you'd have to pick off one of these blue states blue like states, Wisconsin yep. or Michigan just to have a remote shot at victory. Donald Trump did it in 2016, but also the electoral map has changed. It's completely opened up compared to what it used to be. And so much so to the point where CNN, of all people, they are predicting a Donald Trump victory right off the bat based off of polling, based off of other data. They're giving him Ohio and Iowa safe. They're they're basically oh giving boy. Florida, oh Texas, oh North Carolina, even Georgia and Nevada and Michigan. They're giving him a path to 270. This is a vast uh, different climate that we're in right now because then it was, oh, Trump doesn't have a, a chance of beating Hillary. He'd have to run the table and then flip a state that's predicted to go blue. Now Biden is going to have to do the same. He's going to have to win Arizona, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. Then he'd have to go out there and pick off a state like Michigan or Georgia or Nevada. It's an entirely different uh, change of scenery, but I did want to fill out this map because where is the election really headed? What is the actual battleground map? I wanted to fill this out, and things can change, obviously. I think that Iowa and Ohio are going to be in the safe red column. Same thing with Alaska. And I think you could put Maine's second district in that column as well. Republicans will take Florida. They will take Texas, both in the likely columns. Democrats in Florida are in complete and total shambles, even compared to 2020 when they were already in such shambles. And in Texas, this whole Blexus dream, I mean, they're And again, I know you guys are going to have uh, people going to be disagreeing, and there might be some on the other side in the comments too. So please be respectful. And we value you guys' opinions, your, your, your comments. I love you guys, man. You know, I'm, I'm telling y'all, just be respectful, please. <laughs> on it because they realize that it's not likely to happen, especially as Trump does better with Hispanic voters, which is why you may see Arizona turn a corner. It's partially I why Nevada's so. turning a corner. Also, I don't know why Montana's not safe red. Okay, there we go. So there's that. 
Now, I also think that you could put North Carolina in the lean Republican category. I don't think Democrats have a shot, and they're down big in the polls in North Carolina. And you could look at this here in the average in North Carolina. Let me see if we could pull this up right here. They are down by five points. And early polls in North Carolina have a tendency to really underestimate Trump, really underestimate Republicans. I mean, back then, March 2020, they had Biden winning the state by 3.4%. Now Trump is up by five. I don't know if he's going to win it by five. I'm going to be cautious, but I will put that in the lean Republican category for sure. Now, Democrats, I think, will probably end up taking Virginia. I think Minnesota, you could put in the lean Democrat column, although I will say it's not impossible Republicans win it. Same thing with Nebraska second. You also have New Mexico. I'll put that one in the likely blue column there. Um, so that's that. Now, in terms of some of these other states that I feel like are very important, you have to look at Georgia. Donald Trump in Georgia, he's up by five points in the polls, but he's also at 50%, which is the most important tidbit here. He's at 50 out of the five polls, and it'll just take a little shift back to get him there. And if he does, and you might see black turnout drop, and you will see Trump possibly even gain in some some of those counties, uh, maybe not the counties that are directly you know, surrounding Atlanta, but you do have some of the exurbs. And I think that if you talk about where the turnout drop-off is going to be, Trump may see a net gain in enough places where he'll be able to go out there and flip back Georgia. I think right now you could put it in the firewall. I think right now you could put it a part of the 251. Obviously, things can change in that we know. I'm not going to sit back here and say that it's impossible that Biden could take Georgia again. The state's not what it used to be. But still, as of right now, I can't see Trump losing Georgia. I really can't. He doesn't need Georgia to win technically if he gets you know, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, yeah. Nevada. But as of right now, I think you could say that Georgia would go in his column. I mean, he's leading the polls by five points. He's also up by five in Arizona, and he's at 49%. And if he gets that, I think he wins plain and simple in Arizona. Now, things can change, and Maricopa County is not what it used to be either. You have a lot of people moving in from California and many other places. But still, you talk about the state's large uh, proportion of the electorate being Hispanic. And does Trump really lose much ground with suburbanites from 2020 when Biden has been this bad? I can't <laughs> say that that is entirely the case. I can't say that Arizona is a state that Trump is not favored in right now. And especially with the third party candidates likely taking votes away from Biden the same way that they likely helped Trump against Hillary Clinton in 2016. Now, still, it's a state that's going to be tough to win. Maricopa County is Maricopa County. Pima County is Pima County. But still, the border crisis issue and Trump improving with Hispanics is definitely going to help him out in the state. I mean, yeah. the fact that all the polls have him up by five. You didn't see that back in 2020. You yep. didn't see that. They were razor thin. Maybe Trump was up uh, for a few days by a hair, but you know he was not up by five points. This is a massive, massive shift. Even applying the 2022 polling error, he still wins Arizona. And then you talk about a state like Nevada, where Trump is up by 4.3%. He's actually down from where he was. I think it's reverting back a little bit. Um, this is an interesting state. I think this state, you could even say, is a state that would uh, you know, lean or tilt possibly in Trump's column. I don't know exactly if, if it's a state I would jump to put in the lean column. It is something that is a bold move to make, especially when Republicans have not won the state of Nevada going all the way back to 2004. Uh, let's put a color for some of these uh, toss-ups here. But I think that you could arguably make the case that Nevada would stay a toss-up state uh, just in this map, but I think it would tilt to Trump. Same thing goes for Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. I think that New Hampshire and Maine at large are still going to be going blue, but I think they'll be going blue by less than they went blue by in 2020. But then Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. These states are crucial. Michigan, Donald Trump is leading the polls by nearly four points. And... It honestly just feels like it's too good to be true. I mean, the guys at, uh, you know, close to 48%, I think Trump takes Michigan. I think he takes Wisconsin, where polls have usually underestimated him significantly. 
You know, you could go back and look at the polls in 2020. Biden led them by seven points. The state was, you know, razor thin in actuality. And that we know the state is a lot of, of parts of it that are moving to the right. And I can't really see any part of the state really moving to the left from 2020 except maybe you could make a case for Ozaukee County or maybe even Waukesha County, but that will likely be offset and then some by the rest of the state. So you're looking at that and it's like, yeah, I think that Trump's in a good position in Wisconsin. Would I say it's going to be, uh, you know, lean Republican just yet? Maybe not. Pennsylvania, on the other hand, uh, that's a state that Trump is actually polling the weakest in, but still yeah. he leads. He leads in the state. Franklin and Marshall, this pollster usually has a Democrat lean. Early polls in Pennsylvania usually benefit the Democrats more so than the end result. Even in 2022 at this point, Oz was down by like eight or nine points. And he only ended up losing by like four and a half. So either way, even if you want to use the midterms for you know a, a vantage point for the polls, it doesn't exactly even add up when you're talking about looking at the numbers this far out and Biden had such a razor thin margin for error to begin with it's like yeah now actually I will move Nevada into the tilt red column or the lean red column uh, just based on a probability standpoint but I feel like these are the main three toss-ups because Trump is improving with Hispanics Democrats are struggling to energize black voters so that means North Carolina Georgia those are going to go for Trump uh, by you know two plus points, Arizona, Nevada, possibly as well. At this point, it all comes down to Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and currently he is leading all three of these states in the RCP average, which usually they are underestimating Trump in the RCP average. Um, and we could even say they're overestimating him by two points. He still wins Michigan. He still likely you know takes Wisconsin or comes close. Maybe he does fall yeah, short in Pennsylvania, but. I'm not so sure I could see that again. I think he's going to you know, sweep the board. That's why they're desperate. That's why they're doing everything possible to tear down Trump, take him down by any means necessary. We see what's going on. We've been covered on the channel. We have been covering it all on the channel. You know what I'm saying? Corrupt, corrupt, corrupt. Disgusting. Is it going to make a dent at the end of the day? I mean, we got a long way to go, but the American people are just not buying Biden's pitch. I mean, they saw his State of the Union, which is basically a campaign speech, and his numbers dropped even more. <laughs> They're going out there attacking Trump, you know, trying to bankrupt him, trying to convict him. He's been four times indicted. He's been arrested. He's had his mugshot taken. He's been arraigned. Is it moving the needle, though? No, it's not moving the needle at all. At least if it is moving the needle, it's moving the needle in his column. They're just sitting back here and they're like, okay, whatever we've done has completely backfired. So now what's their strategy going to be? What is it going to be? Because the American people don't buy this nonsense. And we'll have to see when it comes down to election time. We have to get out and vote. We need to beat them at the ballot. I go. Yeah, I got to get out there and vote now. Come on now. Come on. Box man. because that's the only place from this point forward that really matters. Because I don't think a whole lot of minds are being changed. But the minds that have been changed, Trump has kind of gotten advantage with them. So we'll see how it plays out at the end of the day, guys. But anyways, thanks for watching this. Yeah, man, we're gonna set a thing play. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Oh, boy. But thank y'all for stopping by, man. I love you guys. We're wishing the best in everybody's life. Spread that love in 2024. Go out and vote. And we are sending them things out every single day. So don't be afraid to email me. Get you a nice old mega hat. And God bless all you beautiful people, man. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.